welcome to SubscriberNation.com, where you'll meet the creators behind amazing online video channels, sharing their stories, inspiration, and hottest tips, and helping you learn from their success. Welcome to Subscriber Nation. I have today with me Wayne from Wine Up TV, and we're going to jump right in and with Wayne telling us, how did you get started? A little bit about you and how did you get started? Thanks, Brian. You know, it's, um, it's, it's quite the journey. I got laid off about five years ago, and I, I expect everybody to get laid off to start finding their own passion in life. Um, I was living in Los Angeles. I moved back up here. My kids are up here, and, and uh, the company I was working for, Tough Economic Times, folded. I found myself on unemployment, which I never took one check. I thought, heck with it. I'm going to work for myself. So I started a wine tour business. I started a Great Oregon Wine Tour. And my sister kind of said, why don't you do a show on the Internet? So then I started Wine Up TV. And um, I suppose it kind of evolved from there. I figured, how can I monetize Wine Up TV? So then I opened up a little small wine shop. And as I grew, I outgrew my little wine shop. And then I started a wine club. And that really outgrew my wine shop. And then one of my wine club members, him and his dad, bought this beautiful building I'm in today. Um, so that was kind of how you started, too. So maybe you could tell us a little bit about where you get your inspiration from. My girlfriend. She inspires me every day I get up. No, <laughs> where do I get my? I think any, any inspiration has to have a passion. You have to you have to want to get up in the morning, uh, and and work. And, and I'm not talking about just working from ten to three or ten to four. You have to really involve yourself in every aspect of what you do and what you love to do. Um, if you don't have a, a passion, kind of write about a bunch of things on a piece of paper and ask yourself, what do I like to do the most? Then figure out how you can monetize that and get paid for it. So I guess what it all comes back to is my passions in wine. I, when I went to college, I have a degree in economics. I don't have a degree in enology or viticulture, but I always, I always liked opening up books and reading about terroir, soils and climates and rainfall, and then taste the differences in the bottles of wine. That's pretty much how it got, what inspired me. Sweet. Great. Well, maybe you can tell us about a time that you learned from a mistake, something that our, our uh, watchers here can take from and be <laughs> like, oh, I don't want to do that. Life is all about mistakes. But it's all about learning from them and overcoming them and overachieving from them. Um, I've made a lot of mistakes. Um, I still do make mistakes. Mm -hmm. There's some wineries out there in the Willamette Valley that um, I've had bad experiences with. I kind of told them they, they don't like me. And, you know, and, but I'm not, I don't want to be the Howard Stern of the wine industry in Oregon. But sometimes, you know, if I bring up an issue or a complaint that I think should be changed, they should kind of thank me. Because if I'm complaining about it, I know other people are complaining about it. Because I'm pretty easy going on that end of things. And, and um, that's kind of like how I learned from my mistakes. I don't make them as often as I do, but I still make them. I'm human. Yeah. And actually, I think I, I just got on my iPad the book uh, Fail Forward, uh, which talks <laughs> about, you know, you got to make mistakes and you got to make them fast. And then you can move on. Absolutely. So. And, and it's a learning curve. Everything yeah. in life is a learning curve. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, what is next for you? What's next? Kickstarter. Um, wow. I'm doing a national press release probably in a few weeks. I'd like to start a Kickstarter. Now that I have a wine bar, I can offer somebody you know, money for um, or some either wine credits, food credits, wine club for uh, pitching and donating for my success. Um, I want to start a show uh, where I want to buy a Winnebago and I want to kind of get out the inside of it. I want to make it all wine themed. And then I want to paint it purple, maybe, maybe a well done, some swag bottles or something on the outside, and call it the Wine Obago. And I want to take that on a traveling road show all over the country. There's over 9,000 wineries in America now. And I'm not just talking to Willamette Valley or Napa Valley. I'm talking Texas, Virginia, uh, Long Island, New York. I could be the Guy Fieri of wines. I could do this. That's awesome. I love it. And so we'll try to time this and make sure that you have a Kickstarter URL by the time this comes out. I hope so. That'd, um, be, that'd be awesome. Perfect. Great. Um, so what about a piece of equipment that, that you just love that, that you use for creating your show? You know, I have a full-time web designer, uh, Mark Newman. He's brilliant. And um, anytime he needs something, I get it for him. He just bought a $300 microphone. I have a $3,000 camera. I don't know if I get as excited about the equipment as Mark because I'm not a tech guy. I am the wine guy. And I think that um, having the proper equipment is, is paramount and to, to making you look as professional as possible to getting you to that next level. Yeah. 
Awesome. And take some time and money. Takes a lot more money than time. So. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Definitely. Well, why don't we talk about money? Let's talk uh, about talk money. about how you monetize your show, how you make money, things like that. You know, th that's a very good thing. I think my my business model is pretty unique. Whereas I I am not only vertically integrated, but I have a lot of revenue shares coming in. What I mean by that is is I have a wine tour business at GreatOregonWineTour.com. I've got a wine club, uh, International Wine Discoveries, or KillerWineClub.com, where where my video is actually animated. I think it's awfully cool. I have the wine bar. I have an e-commerce site called 5000wines.com. We've got about 15,000 wines on there. So I do a lot of internet business. And um, I, I host classes downstairs in uh, my basement here. It's a little speakeasy downstairs. So I think I think I got that pretty much covered. You know, I, I think that's what made it easier for me to go to a bank and get a loan, too. Yeah, to do all this definitely. Stuff. And it's good. It's good to know that, you know, your YouTube channel is not something that you're directly making money from, but it's something that you're using to leverage a lot of other things. Absolutely. Uh, create an audience. Absolutely. You know, it's, um, again, it's trial and error on a lot of this stuff. And and some things haven't worked. Some things work well. Some things work better than I thought they would. So when you tie them all together, I think it's important to realize don't put all your eggs in one basket. Kind of, kind of. Get a bigger basket, get a lot of different eggs. <laughs> awesome, I love that. So, uh, just to wrap up here, how can we find you? You can find me. Um, generally, I have purple hair, uh, but if you can't, you know why I have purple hair? Because you may forget my name, but you won't forget the guy with the purple hair that's six foot four, weighs about three hundred pounds. I don't actually weigh that much, but close. Um, uh, WineUpTV.com. If you go to that site. Uh, you'll see all the things we have. We have our wine bar, which is wineuponwilliams.com, 5000wines.com, killerwineclub.com. Uh, we do a lot of stuff. Wayne Wine Wizard is my Facebook. Twitter handle is WineUpTV. And uh, gosh, I think that's about it. I think that's no, it. No Pinterest account? Uh, I have a Pinterest. I never get on Pinterest. Yeah. I don't. I'm not a Pinterest guy. Instagram, Wayne Oppenheimer. So yeah, you guys can find me everywhere. I'm easy to find. Awesome. Great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for this. This was great because I just worked right around the corner and wandered in here one day and said, hey, Wayne, can we uh, can we do this? And he was like, boom, let's do it right, next I think week. That, I think this is cool because I'm generally the one interviewing people now. <laughs> I'm the one being interviewed. That's yeah. So it's it, it's been fine. And I, I wish you and your company the best of luck. If you ever need any place to film, downstairs is always open. And uh, I look forward to seeing you prosper as well. Great. Well, thank you very All much. Right. And thanks to the audience. And we'll see you next week. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn. Let everyone know what you learned today in the comment section at subscribernation.com, where you'll also find more hot tips and resources. And if you aren't already a Subscriber Nation subscriber, click here. Click here to find another interview or here to see more from today's guest. Uh, and I kind of keep a light and entertaining. I don't want it to be a boring show. I never want, I never want that element of, hello, thank you very much for being on my show. Fuck <laughs> that. <laughs>